This tiny computer will help your home network stay secure. Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and it's not often I review something where I immediately realize it has to stay in my office or home and I'm not giving it back to the vendor. But this is one of those products. This is the Firewalla Blue cybersecurity plug and play device. And as you can see, it's tiny. It's literally less than two inches by two inches, and it's a whopping 1.2 inches tall. And the idea of this is you plug it into an open ethernet port on your network and it immediately starts monitoring and blocking malicious hacking attempts, bad software or IOT hardware in your house that's reporting outward. It scans ports. It can actually turn off your kids' devices when they need to go to sleep. There's a ton this thing does. It's super simple. Now, Firewaller makes a blue one and a red one. And the red one is more of the entry level and the blue one, which is what I have, is the one that's a little more higher end. So it's more expensive, but it offers you more features. So I'm going to be looking at this, but at the end, we're going to talk about the difference between them. Now, here's how this is amazing. This is a tiny little PC computer or actually probably Linux computer, right? It's running a quad core, one gigahertz, 64 bit ARM CPU, has a gig of RAM and a 16 gig micro SD storage unit. In addition, on the front, there is the micro SD. You don't want to mess with that because it needs it, but it has a micro USB for power. And then on the other side, it has regular USB and it has an ethernet jack. And if we open the box, then in the box, literally these are all the instructions. It's a get started by going to this URL. That's easy. And then it comes with a micro USB to USB 3 for power and a short Ethernet jack. And remember, this isn't going to be a router. This isn't going to be any sort of cable modem or anything. You just plug this into an open Ethernet jack on any of your devices on your network and it'll get started. Now, the blue comes with the little power adapter too, but honestly, I don't... I'm not using it because it's easy enough. There's an open USB port on the back of my Wi-Fi router. So I'm just plugging into that and using that just for power, which makes it super easy. As you can see in this photo, this was a literally 30 second install to get this hooked up to my network. Super easy and small. But where this is a big win, of course, is the app. Because once you get this installed and it's really easy to configure, there's a QR code on the bottom you scan and it looks on your network and you're good to go. Super easy. Android or iOS app, I'm obviously using the iPhone app. And some of the features this thing offers through the app is you can run your own VPN server in your house. Now, I'm not saying you're running VPN software to connect to someone else's server. You're actually running the server on your house or office network so that you can connect from the outside world safely and securely. Pretty cool. Probably not a feature most people will use, but nice to know it's there. More interestingly, it has things like an ad blocker, so you can actually set that up and if you're tired of actually getting all of these pop-up ads everywhere all over the internet, this will actually help tame that. Now, that's not its primary function, so it's not as good as a separate third-party ad blocking package, but it's pretty nice compared to not having anything running at all. It also obviously gives you the ability to do things like block porn sites, turn off gaming sites, um, and most importantly, block malware and attempts to get into your network. In just a second, I'll show you some sample screens. Um, also offers you device management, and that's really important because on a modern smart home, you're plugging in and having more and more devices talking to the internet at large, and you don't really know what they're sharing. So I plugged this in and I was surprised to find out that like my Amazon Echo was uploading data and that my Vizio TV was uploading data. And this is like, oh, I didn't realize I had to change those settings, right? Actually, the Echo probably requires that to be able to do voice analysis, but still, you know, you're like, hmm, did I say anything or is it just randomly uploading audio? Good to know. So let's get into it. Let's look at the app. So here's the overview of what's going on on my home network. You can see I have 42 devices. More importantly, it's triggered eight alarms. 
Now, when I tap and go into the alarms, I can see that there's a variety of things going on. It'll notify me of new devices it's never seen. It'll tell me about connections that it thinks are notable, maybe streaming video from somewhere, maybe gaming. Um, <laughs> my kids and I actually trigger those things, but you can then sort of fine tune this over time. So I can say, don't tell me when anyone's on Netflix. It's okay, I'm fine with that. So then that never shows up again, but notice the Amazon upload, but more importantly, notice the malicious attack from the Netherlands. What the heck? What are they doing trying to get into my home network? Not good. Really appreciate this thing blocking that. You can also do inside or outside scans. Here's an outside scan where it takes a couple of minutes and it goes through all possible addresses and ports as they're called. And in my case, it said, oh, you're good, nothing's open, which is great because that's what you want. You don't want anything where someone from the outside world can come into your network, particularly unauthorized. Where this really is an issue is with, again, IoT, Internet of Things, right? Smart home light bulbs or little video cameras or baby monitors, right? If you do a scan and you see, wait a minute, why is that baby monitor accessible as a you know video UDP port or something? So that would be something where you can go and try to figure out how do I close this down? Or alternatively, you might say, you know what? No, we're getting a different one that doesn't have this security problem. So this is so handy. I really was surprised when I ran this and just let it just sort of chug along. Number one, we use a lot of data, <laughs> like 15 gig downloading a day. Wow, that was a lot of data, right? Um, but those alarms were super interesting. It was just like, I thought I had a pretty safe network, but go, you know, look at this. Where, what's going on here? So super interesting, really, really valuable. So the other thing that's really cool is you can turn on social hour. At any point, you can go into this. It's all ready to go. You tap one button in the app and boom, all social networks are now blocked, which is a really nice way to get the kids to maybe come down and actually have dinner with you without their devices. So you don't have to use any of these features. Honestly, plug this or the red one into your network and it's immediately going to start blocking and analyzing and scanning to see what's going on and it'll keep you safe. And then on your phone, you'll be able to check at any point you want to see what the heck's going on. So by itself, super awesome. Now, there are other devices in the market that do a similar thing, and most all of them actually have a subscription service, which I think kind of stinks. If I buy a piece of hardware, I don't want to have to pay $29, $99, $199 a year to be able to get like virus updates and stuff. So props to Firewalla. This is a one-time purchase and you are good to go forever. So when I buy this, I actually will then have automatic updates all the time, as often as they need to, essentially forever. I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll all be on a different network in five years, but for right now, I wanna literally plug and forget because I plug this thing in and it's making my network safer. How easy is that? Super handy. Now, before we get to the price, I just want to ask if you, yes, you can subscribe to my channel and give me some feedback. Thumbs up if this is useful and interesting. Give me a comment if you're using something to keep your network secure. Oh, and I do want to mention that don't use this and then turn off all your antivirus software on your Windows machine or something. This is actually really helpful, but you really need a full suite of protection because the internet is a nasty, dirty place nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretend it's not, but the reality is, is that there's software and programs sitting out there just trying to get in all the time. So you really need that protection. So with that, this is the Firewalla Blue, and this gives you over 500 megabits of speed in terms of having a really fast high speed network. And it supports over 50 devices. I guess I should probably do this the other way. So if you want to get the red, the Firewalla red, it is considerably less expensive. It's $108 at amazon.com. It gives you up to 100 megabits per second data throughput, and it supports up to 50 devices. Now, I'm pretty close with my 42 devices because when my friends come over and they open their laptops and their phones get on the network and everything, boom, I could easily be at 50, right? 
If you have a more modest smart home, then you might be down to 20 or 30, but I think you'd be surprised how many devices you have that are connecting to your wireless network. So the red gives you that more modest entry point. It actually is a little bit slower, a little bit less capacity in terms of the number of devices you can have, but it is only $108 at amazon.com, so that's a great entry point. The blue is the step up. It gives you five times the throughput, which means it can deal with a lot more traffic going through your network and still keep up on analyzing what's going on. You can have as many devices as you want, according to them. I would like to someday not be above 100 devices. <laughs> we'll see how that plays out. And this is a little more expensive. The blue is $179 at firewalla.com. You can actually pick up both of them and learn more about their differences at their website. But either way, this is a no-brainer and it's even making me nervous not having it plugged in right now. So I need to wrap this up, plug this back in and know that my network is just that little bit safer. So highly recommended, definitely check it out. And with that, I'll catch you in my next video.